amateur radio today in Australia. Amateur radio today has virtually now changed. And it has changed probably for the worse forever. I do not believe it will ever improve again. What's happened in amateur radio in the last 30 years, and I can speak about it from when I was a child because my father's had a licence since the Second World War and uh, I've been licensed since my father's passed away. I have noticed that the, the number of people in amateur radio now are very prepared to run around and criticise others, gang up together and bully people, lie and deceive people when they're buying equipment. It's getting out of control. For the small group of people that I'm speaking about who know who they are, I have fronted each one of you and had a go at you, and you're all cowards, you all run away. You gang up together behind people and tell stories and lies. So I thought I'd bring it to the truth. What happened here was I started a radio club up at a school to help a school teacher friend of mine and to help kids get licenses. From the day I got together with the school teacher and started producing a radio club at the school and several people joined me and we worked hard on it. Over the time since I've held a licence I have become an assessor and the reasons for that were very simple. I was blackmailed into being an assessor by an assessor who used to come up to the school and I misfortunately wrote a story about him and his head got too big for his boots. He's now dumped that call so on and gone to a two letter call which seems to be the norm with most morons in the amateur paternity in, many, in recent years. To say that uh, I, have not fr I have fronted these people is an understatement. These people have been continually writing nasty letters. I had them to the school, I had them to the school teacher, I've had dozens of letters to myself. My friend sitting next to me, Randall's, had dozens of letters sent to him. He's also had letters sent to his wife. The Eastern Mountain District Radio Club have even had letters sent to them, unsigned of course, so you couldn't work out who it was. So obviously we know exactly who it was. We had numerous letters written to the ACMA and had repeated visits from the ACMA. To say that these people, this small group of amateurs, have abused their power would be <laughs> an understatement. They are complete morons. They always will be complete morons. You have done nothing for the hobby whatsoever. I have written and published several articles about different antenna systems etc. I have done repeated work of somewhere in the vicinity of over 300 amateurs today have licenses because of the work that I've done. Yet you people have done absolutely nothing to promote the hobby. You have done nothing to continue the hobby. You have done nothing to help new amateurs into the hobby, let alone help them. Misfortunately, you are all armchair experts that have read a book and you know every bloody thing. Well, let me tell you, I'm not leaving the hobby. You might think you can stop me buying equipment. I am not going to stop buying equipment. I will buy it elsewhere. When I find a, a dealer overseas which will sell cheaper to Australian members, I will put it up on the club site and I will recommend that people go to this dealer because the dealers in this country are too restrictive and quite frankly they used to be my friend but they've proven now that they're just another one of these schoolyard bullies. When my father said that CB radio was criminal band I thought that was a bit harsh but quite frankly those criminal band operators are now on amateur radio and they have ruined amateur radio totally ruined amateur radio for so many amateurs. The number of amateurs I know that have handed their license in and walked away from the hobby because of these childish bullies, and that's all they are, childish, mindless bullies, they have destroyed the hobby for all. All I know is that no matter what you think you are or what you think you're doing, have a look in a mirror. You are bullies, you are nasty little bloody thugs, and that's all you are. And remember, I don't forgive, I don't forget. So keep looking over your shoulder, because I am coming.